Thanks for watching. In this short video, we will cover the Teltonica RUT950. We will cover what comes in the box, walk through the device, and cover the functionality of the different LED ports. Let's get started by covering what comes in the box. To start, there is a quick start guide that offers instructions on how to get your device up and running. There is also an overview card of Teltonica's remote management tools. To enable connectivity to another device, a 1.5 meter or 5 foot Ethernet cable is provided. An AC adapter is provided to power the device. You also have the option of using DC power or power over Ethernet, which we'll discuss later. Finally, four antennas are included in the box. Two are for cellular connectivity and two are for Wi-Fi connectivity. Using all four antennas ensures maximum coverage and network stability. On the top side of the unit, there is a decal that shows the default IP address of the unit as well as its default username and password. We always recommend that you change these credentials immediately. Let's move on to the front side of the router. There is a 4-pin power socket. The first pin in the upper left is the power which uses a red color wire. The second in the top right is the ground indicated by a black cable. The third is the input pin, a green cable in the lower left. And finally in the lower right, there is the output pin indicated by a white cable. If you wish, you can also use both power sources at the same time to maximize uptime. The power socket will be used when it is available and the PoE would be the backup. This device comes with four ethernet ports. The one on the far right is for WAN connectivity, while the remaining three are for LAN connections. We will cover the functionality of the LED lights for the ports later in the video. On to the back of the device, we referenced the two SIM card holders earlier. Using two SIMs can maximize your uptime and may be ideal for many critical applications. There are four antenna ports on this device. Two are for cellular communications and two are for Wi-Fi. Finally, in the rare event that the device is not functioning as desired, there is a reset button. The first set of LED lights are for indicating power. If the light is on, the router is receiving sufficient power to operate. If it is off, the device is not powered up. There are LED lights to indicate the status of each of the Ethernet ports. If the light is turned on when a cable is attached, the port is operating at 10100 megabit per second connection speed. If the light is off, there is no link established. To indicate activity across the port, the LED light will blink. Finally, if the lights light up and turn off in sequence, this tells you that the router is in bootloader menu state. Please refer to your user manual for more details on that. The final set of lights are to provide information about your cellular connection. There's a single light to the left. If this light is alternating between green and red, you either have no SIM card inserted or a bad pin. If the light is alternating between green, red, and orange, it is attempting a connection. Once connected, the light will blink every second to indicate which cellular technology you are using. If it is blinking red, you are using 2G. If it's orange, you're using a 3G network. And if it's blinking green, you are using a blazing fast 4G network. When you start to send and receive data, the light will blink very rapidly, again corresponding with the cellular technology you're using. So to recap, red for 2G, orange for 3G, green for 4G. And finally, similar to your cell phone, the router will use the BARS method of telling you the level of cellular signal strength that it currently has. Like your phone, the more BARS the better. If you're consistently getting 3 BARS or less, you may wish to consider using a stronger antenna setup or moving the device to a different location. For more details on the dB value that each light indicates, please refer to your user manual. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. It is part of a series of videos to help you get started in the world of IoT. We look forward to hearing from you. Please use the contact information on the screen.